Hey guys, it is Amy the Real Kid Taurus coming to you live once again from my office corner. It is, it feels like I should be saying it was <laughs> February 20th, uh, 2020. Um, I have had such a busy day that I don't know what, uh, where my up and down is coming from or up from down. See, I don't even know that. Um, I hit Taco Bell and went home to get some Mountain Dew <laughs> to get through this because <laughs> I am dragging my wagon. Um, how are you all? It is, it was, it's dark out now. This is a late vlog for me today, but I wanted to get one done for Thursday. It's been a good day. It's been a really good day. I hope it's been a good day for you guys. Um, it was about mid eighties today. Uh, it felt hotter than it probably honestly was an inside Epcot. Uh, so I did my normal routine of food shopping and errands and all that fun stuff today. And then I had dinner plans tonight at Springs, but when I heard that the Regal Eagle, which is Sam's new place over at American Adventure in Epcot, I'm such a Muppet fan. Um, I just, anything they do, I love. And so I had to go check it out for myself. I had to see like, what is all the, the craziness about, um, you know, that they would put, you know, Sam over there. I, I get it because he's the, you know, the Regal Eagle and all that stuff. So I thought, you know what, let's just, let's just kind of get to two things at the same time, basically. So I decided after all the errand running in the morning, hey, you know, it would be fun. <laughs> let's go have lunch over in America uh, at Epcot. Walk, by the way, walk all the way back, the furthest point you can get in Epcot. <laughs> let's walk all the way back there. Um, and then keep going with my day for the next four hours after that to Springs, walk that for some time after and before that. And that is where we are right now. That was my day. That's how um, long and busy my day was. I've got everybody home in the house right now. People are doing dishes, people are talking. So I apologize now if you hear any of the background noise. Um, this is the joy of doing it from home. <laughs> It's better than my car, right? I I, I feel like I've, I've elevated a little bit. I've graduated a little bit. And I've got the fan going in here. So the hat's on because I just didn't have time nor want to do my hair. I have hat hair really bad right now because I've had this on all day. <laughs> so I'm like, nah, I don't feel like showing it. It was enough just to kind of throw a little bit of makeup on while I'm so tired. Um, okay, so let's start with the Regal Eagle. I wanted to kind of do... Uh, Kind of a little mini food review here. I'll give the pictures, the whole kind of kit and caboodle and what the it was like in the dining room area and all the pictures will all be up in the blog tomorrow. Um, I just kind of want to give you guys an overview of what it was. Uh, this is going to bother me. Anyway, okay, so where it is is where Liberty Inn used to be back by American Adventure and so there was a restaurant to the left before you went into the show right in the center area there. Um, I thought that, uh, let me start off first. I thought Sam would be a bit more represented in the entire situation of the restaurant. Thinking, I don't know, maybe I had like the great moments of history in my head. So what that is, is the Muppets do this whole cute, um, great moments of history show over at, uh, Magic Kingdom. I didn't expect this to be an attraction. It is a restaurant and forgive me, I'm stumbling my words cause I'm tired. Um, but I did expect a little more than what we saw. Uh, poor Craig, we just, you know, again, I was like, yeah, so the one thing I want to do here today for lunch, it has to be the very farthest point in World Showcase. Like literally it's not even on the right, it's on the left. It's literally all the way around dead center in the back. So we walked the whole thing and Craig had not seen all the walls lately. And by the way, I have dubbed Epcot Walcott. Um, it has earned it. <laughs> Um, let's trademark that somehow. Uh, it's, it's, it is what it is, but there's just walls everywhere. I mean, you walk in, boom, there's a wall just right there. Uh, the whole right side now is walled off. Um, all but till Space Birth was walled off. The left is now open up past Space Birth. That used to be all walled off. But on the left of that, um, right before Guest Relations, that whole area is walled off. And then you get up there and the Fountain of Nations is being gutted and all that. So that whole big wall and you can't walk around that to get back to World Showcase. You either now have to go all the way, either hook it all the way around on the edge of the old Mouse Gear building or you have to go all the way around Mouse Gear building back by Test Track and all that and come back around. 
Um, most people look like they were coming on the right side. Uh, today, they wouldn't even let us go up the hill past Space Earth on the right. Um, they were now directing everybody past um, Finding Nemo, and that's the only way you could go on the right side. You could not go up the hill anymore. So I think they're now working on that building on that side right now. So heads up if, uh, just just for, for information, it doesn't really affect. It is kind of a pain. I mean, if you go up the right side and you meant to go like to test track, which is not even, I don't even know if that's up yet. I think it's still under um, refurb. I bet if you meant to go like Mission Space or something, you're, you're kind of screwed because now you're going up all the way on the right side past Soren and Nemo and all that. You can kind of cut a little bit over, but the area now that you remember you could go through the tunnel there and they had all that um it was all in the stone and it was all about like different like dates and times and everything was there so that corridor there that used to be there with a building that's completely being obliterated anyway that is now all walled off so the only way to even get around to the center where fauna nations used to be is going all the way around but that whole thing is just being completely demolished so there's really no point in being in there besides the poor little pin trader center that was there it's still standing but i don't really know what it, purpose it's serving at this point because there's just nothing there there's nothing there around it electric umbrella closed um last week so i i don't know what basically on that side now you've got miss mission space um, Guardians of the Galaxy isn't open yet. You've got the makeshift mouse gear building, and then you've got Test Track that's being refurbed. So I, I just, I think basically the entire future world is just a mess right now. And I wouldn't recommend to anybody coming right now if you really can avoid it and go a different time. Um, that being said, World Showcase obviously is still its amazing self. Uh, we went around the backside, so I just realized I, I wanted to see the art, which we just, we were kind of focused on uh, Regal Eagle, so we went around the back, but again, it's just, it's just all walls in Future World. It's not pretty. Uh, so, okay, the inside is beautiful. They um, took away all those really heavy metal um, chairs that when you pull them out, they just make the most ungodly noise. <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about, those heavy metal chairs. They got rid of those and now it's more like um, clean look of picnic tables. Um, they don't have any backs, so that's kind of a, that's kind of a stinky thing. But they do have booths that line around the outside of the restaurant, so they're kind of back-to-back -back booths. So someone could sit on this side, and then someone could sit on that side, but they're back-to-back. -back. So it gave all that space on one side of the restaurant, and then all the space on the other side, and then in the middle is all more tables. Um, they took out the fountain that used to be in there. I don't know if you guys remember that was more of like a garden feel in there. Um, it definitely is a smokehouse feel. They have a lot of Americana um, stuff all over the walls. There's some stuff about Sam Eagle on the back. They have pumps for the ketchup. I think it's mustard. And then there's um, two, I believe, two um, different kinds of barbecue sauces because it's a smokehouse. Um, the ordering, now this is day two is open. It just opened yesterday. So... I was a little concerned of what we were in for and things like this get always kind of always kind of stress me out and the reason being is because I know the cast members are brand new and they're trying to figure it out and I'm not really familiar with the menu so what do I want to get and I don't want to overspend or spend on something just to try it just to hate it and then I wasted my money and so it's that whole stress well they were packed and this was like 12.06 now it was lunch hour um, World Sh Showcase had only been open for an hour and it was impressive that that place was full. I mean full. I was lucky enough to find a booth for us because someone just got up, which you know, you guys know how that is. You kind of just like maneuver around and be like, are, are, you, are you going? Are you going? <laughs> so that's what I did. I kind of just kind of watched and I was like, woo, got it. So all that to say is that Craig, so Craig and I get in line and we're looking at the menus and we're like, Okay, and they the digital they are all digital menus, but the one that was closest to us, we were in the very right, very right last lane. So we weren't looking at all the digital menus. We were just looking at the one above us. And again, we just have um I, I call it to Craig, it's called DCA. He has it more than I do, but it's called I call it DCA, which is drive through anxiety. Um he has a little bit of it when he's ordering things at Disney as well. He just gets really kind of stressed and um anxious about it and so he just doesn't like it 
And for some stupid reason, I said, I'll go get a table, you go order. <laughs> so I was looking up and I didn't realize I was reading off the kids menu because again, it's a brand new restaurant. And even though clearly the square around it says kids menus, for some reason, I was just looking at the barbecue chicken leg and I thought, oh, that sounds kind of good. Like, and I thought, well, let's, they only had like four offerings. I thought that was kind of weird. But again, I get anxious about the seating and he gets anxious about the ordering. So the best advice I can give you is read all the menus across <laughs> because what should have been happening is that menu should have been flipping out like Cosmic Rays does. So they show a kid's menu and then it disappears and then the adult menu and it disappears. So you're just constantly getting the entire menu on all the screens. And what they were doing is they were having like the kids on every other and the adult on the other, on the in-between. And because we were on the far end, we did not see the adult one at all. And so I'm sitting at the table and Craig's like, I just ordered you the Kansas City, I wrote down Kansas City smoked half chicken. That's what he got me from what I originally asked for was the chicken leg, but it was on the kids menu so he didn't understand. That's fine. So he went ordering that and then um, he wound up getting the power green salad, which is served with chilled pulled chicken and fresh citrus. So, um, if any of you have eaten at the Polite Pig in Disney Springs, I would equate that to this experience. Um, it's the same kind of, they have metal trays, uh, you get like a side, so they, they get a piece of garlic toast with it, um, Craig said that was really good, and then you get a choice of a side. Uh, I guess Craig said they just offered him coleslaw, but there's like mac and cheese, it's, you know, it's like the KFC deal, you know, it's a mac and cheese, or it's a beans, or it's a something, or it's a something, and so, um, he took the coleslaw he thought it was safe because I wasn't with him and you know so he got that and then the salad um they didn't offer any type of dressing so I uh, he was so frustrated and he said the kitchen was so frustrated and the cast members were just frustrated and everybody was earning their ears so um for those of you that don't know what that means um new cast members wear this red um almost looks like a ribbon um it is a ribbon <laughs> under their name tag that's just earning my ears, which basically means give me a break. I'm a new cast member. I'm learning. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. And so that is what he did. But that being said, they could tell he was stressed out because of the menu situation and all that stuff. So they wound up, wound up giving us a free s'mores brownie. So, hey, you know, something else I can review. Um, and again, how the food tasted, everything that would be in the blog tomorrow. So check that out at relocatedtourist.com. Um, for the most part, I can just say for overall, um, you know, for service wise for Craig, you know, I, if the grade was zero to 10, 10 being best, you know, I, I think he'd probably give them an easy five. He said the woman in front of him was waiting a good 20, 25 minutes. She was already frustrated because Frozen broke down today. I mean, there's barely any rides open in Epcot right now. And then when Frozen breaks down, they're like big hit right now in that park, not good. So, um, yeah, so the seating, I really like the seating. I like the ambiance in there. I thought, um, somebody mentioned on, on Facebook, they thought it was a little bit loud. Yeah, it always seems echoey in that restaurant. Uh, I think it's just because of maybe all the brick and everything. I'm not really sure, but it's always seemed very echoey in there. So that I thought was pretty, I, I liked the ambiance. I liked the smokehouse feel. I think they had a winner in that. Um, I think it's very American. <laughs> Um, I would say they they didn't have a they should have had a brat. I, there was smoked sausage on the menu. I know there's a pulled pork. Um, for those of you, I will I will check back now and then. And when I'm at Epcot, I will try another thing. I'll let you guys know as time goes on. Um, I just review when I think something's fun and interesting. I really, really for the restaurant wise, I really wanted Sam to be a part of it a little bit bigger. I just don't know. This is Disney, and Disney has just they're they're. They, they could do better. And what I would have loved is how they have Sam and Animal or Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom kind of popping out there. If any of you watch that above the Hall of Presidents and he talks and he also talks above the other building on the other side, but it would just be fun to have some type of animatronic like um, Mr. Potato Head at Toy Story Mania or, um, you know, just some type of animatronic of Sam e you know, Eagle that just welcomed you, you know, or or even it was in the dining room, it was like at a podium, and it was like, you know, four score and so, you know, that would have been really cute. 
Um, so I was kind of hoping for just something a little more magical and not just, we just named it after Sam because it was an easy go. I, I think with like, um, the pizza restaurant with Rizzo and everything over at the Muppets area, I think they did a great job with that. It's just very Muppet themed and it's heavy Muppet themed and that's what you want out of it. Don't, don't make it a theme or tell us it's a theme and just be like, we put some stuff on the wall about Sam. <laughs> Just do something more. I would have liked to have seen something more. So, um, yeah, I will I will go deep into the food tomorrow in the vlog. You'll see the pictures tomorrow on the vlog. Then you can really kind of make choices for yourself, especially those of you that are looking for salads and healthy choices. Um, yeah, so let's talk about that tomorrow. So then from there, um, what I plan to do is kind of hang out at Epcot for a while and find whatever I was gonna do. And he was heading out home. He had to go back to work because Craig works from home and uh, we were splitting ways. Well, <laughs> I jumped on the Skyliner, which you all would be proud of me. It was like time number four. Um, so I was proud of myself and I got in with a family that they were all dressed up as Dalmatians. How freaking adorable is that? So I of course talked to them and that, and we just got to know each other and now we're Facebook friends. That's exactly how it happens here at Disney. And um, it was a good, it was a good thing because I got to meet them and I was really excited too. And um, just make new friends is always great, but it's just hilarious how that happens. And I get off at Caribbean and I'm thinking, okay, I'll just take the bus from Caribbean over to Disney Springs. And I don't know, Craig and I just, just didn't have brains in our head today. I don't know what the issue was, but I called him to tell him that I made it safely over there and that I did not die on <laughs> the Skyliner once again and yay for that. And he kind of laughed. He goes, I just got to the SUV and I was like, okay, why don't you just drive me over to Springs? <laughs> this is so stupid. I mean, I did want to ride Skyliner, so I guess, but so he came to Caribbean. They let him in because they've been really fickle on that. They let him in, um, he picked me up, he dropped me over back uh, at spring, so it was, it was a weird day. Um, and then I just kind of walked around and I tried to find a corner so I could vlog to you guys from springs because of the music and the sound. The video exists, it's seven minutes long. I don't know if I'll ever put it up. It should be a blooper video because um, a gentleman was kind of looking at me like he knew me and so we have this conversation that's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it just, just sounds stupid and then I try to come back to you guys and talk to you and it just it did, I don't know if it works so we'll see if it ever ever sees the, the light of day it might just be in the trash bin um so I just kind of had a nice sit I mean I'm telling you Springs is a wonderful if you can find a, a out of the way area you can hear the they have the best music there and the, the Disney music is just just makes your heart smile and you sit there and enjoy it and I had, you know, my Coke Zero sitting there and I was checking my social media. It was just a nice little sit. And then, yeah, I went over and met Jamie. Um, she is from the Midwest, like me, and they moved here two and a half years ago. And so we just had an amazing girls dinner over at, I'm never going to pronounce it right, so I'll make sure I pronounce it right. It's Frontera Cochina. Frontera Cochina. Um, and it's a Mexican place and I love Mexican and Chinese, my absolute top favorites. So we were really excited to try this. There are so many new restaurants. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. There's so many new restaurants at Disney Springs, you guys, that it, it would take me a good year to go through everything there. I mean, really go through everything there and the drinks and the desserts and uh, so many good places. Um, I still want to try so I had the pork belly tacos. And again, I'm gonna do a very full and detailed review on this on the blog tomorrow as well. But I just wanted to give you an overview. I had the pork belly tacos and she had the grilled chipotle chicken tacos. Um, and so I would, again, that was another one I would probably grade. Mine, I would say a B, B minus maybe. Um, I don't know if she'd give hers. I think she really liked hers, so maybe an E minus, B plus. I'd have to ask her again. Um, I think we were just enjoying our company so much and I just eat up girl time. So uh, we just had a wonderful, amazing two hour conversation and um, just got to know each other better and it was fabulous. So if you're watching, thank you for that, Jamie. It was amazing and it was good for my heart. Um, 
so yeah, I tried that. It was a great atmosphere. Uh, definitely easy to talk. There wasn't like, um, I've, I've eaten now, bongos is gone, but when I ate at bongos with Craig, I could not put a thought in my head. It was so loud. <laughs> like, it was so loud. I didn't think this place was loud where we were sitting. Um, we were kind of sitting behind the main area, a little closer to the bar. So maybe that's why it wasn't as like loud. Um, I thought it was quiet. I thought uh, the prices I think were okay for what you get. I don't know. I mean, I, is Tijuana Flats better? I'll tell you that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Save your money. Go to Tijuana Flats. Uh, I, these are fun places at Springs to try out, um, but I think that you're on vacation. It's vacation money that you're spending at these places. We're her and I are talking about what we spent in our families alone, just going to try some of these places like Homecoming and um, Still of Marimoto. Uh, and, you know, even Raglan Road, you know, you can just, a couple hundred dollars for a family of four or five. I mean, it just, it can get really expensive there. And so it's for the local or for the daily life here, you know, you can kind of, you have to pick and choose, you know, when you want to try it. And it was, it was fun. It will always remember that's, that's where Jamie and I first got to hang out and really talk. And so her and her husband recognized me at a grad sale last, um, last summer, last, uh, last fall. And uh, that was the greatest feeling in the world. And so I was glad we got to connect and I'm glad that I helped her with her move here. So that always feels great. So then um, she headed home and I just walked around and I haven't been at Springs at night in months, months, maybe six, nine months. It's been a long time where I've actually just walked around at night. Um, it's rare by myself. And I just really in just enjoyed the atmosphere. I enjoyed um, just, you know, playing on my phone. Um, I enjoyed just, I don't know why I walked the Christmas store and I walked the art store and I walked the pin store. And so World of Disney, I just ate up. Oh, but I went to World of Disney. And so the hubby came to pick me up because he had taken me to Epcot for lunch. And so I had said, he was like, oh, did you see anything World of Disney you want? And I was like, um, like 700 things. I mean, when have I not wanted something at World of Disney? But there's something that came out that I really wanted and it's from the ink and paint series and I was concerned that it would go pretty fast so and I'm gonna show you guys because it is freaking amazing and I, I use these things every single day in my home because either the AC is too high or whatever but it's the ink and paint blanket isn't it cute so you guys can see the design isn't it cute yes so he got me that so that is going to be my uh my little cuddle blanket and my office corner here. I've had a Kingdom Hearts blanket for a very long time, but it's not as big. So um, when I like to crash in my chair for like I don't know, 20 minutes or a cat nap or something, this will be awesome. So yes, so thanks to Craig for getting that for me. And we just kind of walked around. It was really nice and uh, then fought the traffic home because I-4 was again a nightmare and tried to take old Lake Wilson Road home to kind of keep off the beaten path. And now I'm here with a full Mountain Dew trying to stay awake, which is not the smartest thing to drink right before bed. <laughs> but hey, that's life. He's got a long work night and I want to get this done and get this out. So by the time I get this uploaded and put on YouTube and whoever's up can watch it or catch it tomorrow, um, I will get both of those food reviews up on the blog tomorrow. Sorry, there's no throwback Thursday today because I was just very busy this week and very busy today. Um, tomorrow's a work day, so I'm actually really excited for a work day. <laughs> and uh, Saturday is the Renaissance Festival, so I get to get all dolled up and I get to get all tied in and I feel like a princess. Disney makes me feel like a princess, but... The Ren Fair, that's what does it the most. I feel like my most incredible, authentic, beautiful soul when I'm at the Ren Fair, and in those clothes just do it. So I will definitely be um, reporting from the Ren Fair. I will show you guys around if you'd like. Um, I thought it'd be really fun to do a vlog there. So watch for that Saturday, and obviously you can watch it any time past Saturday. So I hope you have a phenomenal evening. Um, I hope that, um, yeah, I'm bored you to tears with this because I'm tired. I'm sure you're all tired. Have a good night. God bless. I love you guys.